What's happening everyone, Nick here from TV Box Stop and welcome back to another TV Box review. What I have for you today is a Google certified model from the makers of Transpeed. This is the Haku Mini Amlogic S 905Y4 Google certified Android 11 TV Box. This is a budget model with only 2GB of RAM and 16GB of internal storage and it's designed to pay paid subscription services in HD and 4K. So in this review, we look at this certified model and if it has what it takes to make a great Android streaming device. So stay tuned, my full review is up next. And welcome back. Included in this package are your standard TV box contents, which includes the box itself, a Bluetooth voice remote with Google Assistant's feature, one HDMI cable, noteworthy is a 12V 1A power adapter, and a user manual. The box itself has a minimalistic design with a glossy surface and some artwork to the top. For input-output, it comes with one HDMI port, one RJ45 Ethernet LAN port, its DC power socket, two USB 2.0 ports, a reset button, and a micro SD card reader. At the front, it has an LED power light, and below the box has four anti skid rubber feet, cutouts for wall mounting, and some ventilation holes. So when you start this box for the first time, it starts with a simple splash screen, followed by the Android TV OS first startup wizard, then you're taken to the launcher. So here we are at the Android TV OS launcher, and this is the Android 11 TV OS version with Hailstorm version 4.1.3. Hailstorm is an Android TV scaling program designed by Netflix to reduce the Netflix integration process for manufacturers and developers on the Android TV platform, and it aims to make Netflix even more accessible to members around the world. Once the developer uses Hailstorm, it's very easy for them to gain their Netflix ESN certification. This firmware features 4K display up to 59.94Hz and it features HDR display, but it's always on by default and there is no way to disable it, so users of non-HDR TVs will get an over-contrasted display. It has HDMI CC options, a surround sound audio switch, and I will test for these formats later in the video. It has Google Assistant feature that works with the Google Assistant's button on the Bluetooth remote. It has built-in Chromecast and Wi-Fi screen mirroring, energy saver and screen saver options. Now a quick look at its system and hardware information. The manufacturer of this hardware is Amlogic and it comes with 2GB of DDR3 RAM and 16GB of internal storage, its Bluetooth version is 5.0. Its CPU is the Amlogic S905Y4 and it's a quad-core Cortex A35 CPU clocked at 2.0 GHz configured in 32-bit mode. Its display is powered by the Mali G31 GPU with a refresh rate of 60 Hz with OpenGL version 3.2. Its network adapter provides 2.4 plus 5 GHz Wi-Fi connectivity. Its operating system is Android 11 and is not rooted. Its GPU has Vulkan API version 1.1 support, which is great for gaming. They have disabled the temperature sensor. And on the codex, it has all the decoders for the playback of 4K HDR videos and videos with the AV1 formatting. And for surround sound audio, it comes with a Dolby Atmos EEC3 and a DTS HD. However, there are no Dolby Vision decoders. That's its system and hardware information. Its primary feature and selling point is its Google certification, as it's equipped with Google Widevine Level 1 with HTCP 2.3 protection. It also has a Netflix ESN certification, which allows it to play Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, Disney Plus, and others in HD and 4K with a Dolby Atmos surround sound audio. The Android TV version of YouTube plays in 4K 2160p resolution with HDR, however it's cropped in a 1080p viewport frame. Mm -hmm. 
Its Bluetooth remote has a very basic layout with a dedicated YouTube, Netflix, Prime Video and the Disney Plus shortcut buttons. And you have a Google Assistant button at the top here, just below a built-in microphone. It also contains your standard direction pad and OK button, a button for the settings area, home and back buttons, a live TV button, volume controls, channel up and down, and a mute button. We have all grown accustomed to the Google Assistant feature and with its built-in microphone, you can perform voice search and voice commands. You can also control your smart home features if you have Google Assistant connected to your smart home network alongside Alexa. Richest Man in the World According to Forbes, when US markets closed at 4 p.m. Eastern Time, Musk had regained the lead, with an estimated net worth of $185.4 billion. Turn off the office lights. OK, turning the office lights off. With Google Assistant, you can mirror your mobile phone using the Google Smart Home feature installed on your mobile phone. With built-in Chromecast, you can use the official casting feature in apps such as Netflix, Amazon Prime Video, and YouTube, and control these services with your mobile phone. When playing 4K HDR videos, we would usually monitor for the HDR feature and its icon activating on our TVs, indicating that an HDR video is being played. However, with HDR always on by default with no adaptive HDR or auto HDR feature, there is no way of telling if a video has HDR or not. So I'll just play my list of videos to test for smoothness of playback. Only a win for Barca would be enough because it would give them the same number of points as Atletico, but the head to So the videos played smoothly, including the AV1 video format. Also, there was one HLG HDR video at the end that also played smoothly. Here it's connected to my 7.1 audio receiver using HDMI pass-through, and let's see which surround sound audio formats are supported. Is Dolby Atmos, the world's first object-based cinematic audio, with powerful moving audio.
From this test, it shows that it outputs Dolby Atmos, Dolby Digital Plus, Dolby Surround and DTS Neural X. You don't get DTS HD Master Audio, DTS X or Dolby True HD. Now, a look at its gaming performance. With its GPU clocked at 2.0 GHz and with its Mali G31 GPU with Vulkan support, it has some decent gaming performance. However, it runs best at medium to low graphic settings. And now for some benchmarks. For RAM, internal storage and external storage read and write speeds, it has a RAM copy speed of 4044MB per second. Its internal storage has a read speed of 142MB per second and a write speed of 45MB per second. And with an M.2 SSD enclosure connected to one of its USB 2.0 ports, it has a read speed of 37 megabytes per second and a write speed of 36 megabytes per second. In testing the speed of its Wi-Fi bands and Ethernet LAN port, it revealed that based on a 154 Mbps network, only the 5 GHz band achieved the maximum speed, the 2.4 GHz band achieved the 16% and the LAN port which is not a gigabit LAN port achieved the 61%. Its Amlogic S905 Y4 CPU, single core and multi core Geekbench 5 performance test yielded a score of 115 single core and a 386 multi core. In the 3D Mark graphics benchmark, it does not have enough RAM to run the wild live test, so it can only run the slingshot extreme test, and it got a score of 378. And in the Antutu benchmark, it scored 81,145. So that's the last of the benchmarks. Let's now see where it places on my chart. So with these benchmarks, the Hakko Mini Pro is at position 51 based on its Antutu benchmark score and it received a 3 out of 5 star rating based on its pros and cons. To compare these various benchmarks and to access my coupons and price comparison links, see the link to this chart in the description below this video. In summary, the Hakko Mini Pro is a solid certified Android TV box designed to stream paid subscription services in HD and 4K with Dolby Atmos surround sound audio. It's running on good Amlogic hardware with its CPU clocked at 2.0 GHz. However, its limited 2 GB of RAM and 16 GB of internal storage might be a deal breaker for some. I would definitely recommend this box if you're looking for a Google certified model. And that my friends conclude another TV Boss review. If you are interested in this model, you can get it for only $59.99 using the link in the description below this video. Links below this video provide monetary support to the channel, so thanks in advance for using my links. Before leaving, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notifications bell to keep in the loop as to when I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.